Hi, welcome to MonumentalMath.com. We're going to be doing using the distributed property, a very important topic in math. And I'm going to show you how you can make yourself become better at multiplying without needing a calculator. Just use that calculator between your ears. Okay, if you have 4 times 15, that's the same as 4 times 10 plus 5. 15 is the same as 10 plus 5. 4 times the 10 plus 4 times the 5. 4 times the 10 plus 4 times the 5. 4 times the 10 is 40. 4 times 5 is 20. 40 plus 20 is 60. So I want you to get really good at being able to go 4 times 10, that's 40. 4 times 5 is 20. The only things you really had to add up are the two numbers in the tens column. So I want you to be able to do it in your head. This one's 5 times 48, so 5 times 40 plus 8. So you get 5 times the 40 plus 5 times the 8. 5 times 4 is 20. Put another 0 on it, you get 200. 5 times 8 is 40. 200 plus 40, 240. Easy. Next one, 8 times 14. 8 times 14 becomes 8 times 10 plus 4, which becomes 8 times the 10 plus 8 times the 4. You're going to distribute this factor times each of the parts inside. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 4 is 32. The only numbers you really add are the 8 and 3. And you get 11. And this 2 plus 0 is 2, so 112. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 4 is 32, 30 and 80. So it becomes an easy thing in your brain. That's what I want. 6 times 38 is 6 times 30 plus 6 times 8. 6 times 30 plus 6 times 8. Now I want you to get so fast, 180 plus 48. 180 plus 48. The only things you really add are this 18 and 4. And you get 22. And then 8 plus 0 is just 8. So 228. 7 times 42. 7 times 40 plus 7 times the 2. The only thing you add are in the tens column. 8 plus 1 gives you 9. So 294. You can do it. You don't have to punch a calculator. 5 times 50. That'd be 250. 5 times a 5 is 25. 50 and 20 become 70, so 275. Now you go ahead, try it. Using the distributive property, I want you to get very accurate, but I want you to go for speed. See if you can beat a calculator. Use that calculator between your ears. Good luck. Hope you enjoy that challenge.